Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyhow, first off, two shout outs for two new subscribers. They both are fellow YouTubers. Um, they're fairly new. Um, based upon the numbers of videos and or subscribers. Um, the first one is 406 Shaver. It is the number four, the letters OH6 Shaver. Anyways, welcome to you, 406. The second one is Frank Stromberg. Welcome to you as well, Frank. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and um, one moment, guys. I gotta close this door. So, one moment. I need to grab something real quick before I want before I get into the shave. Um, I watched a video when I. Uh, First checked out four zeros or four o six um, six is channel. Anyways, um, he did a video showing basically um, the haul he made on shave gear um, at an antique store or wherever it was he went, and um, he had a razor that I have, that many of us have, and it is the Slim Adjustable. And he went ahead and uh, it's in a case and it has the blades. He's not sure if the blades are the right blades for that um, set, for that year set. It is a 64. I happen to have a J2 Slim Adjustable, which makes it a 1964 second quarter. Anyways, I told him I would go ahead and on my next video, show all of you, the, um, or show him the set. Anyways, um, hopefully this is in camera. Anyways, that's the case. That's the razor in the case. There's the razor. This razor was actually a pith from a fellow from another subscriber named Johnny. Um, the case, the top is clear, the bottom is white. This has the little paper insert that tells you how to use your razor. That's the blade bank. Um, it's uh, blue or black, I can't remember. Um, my girlfriend said it was blue or black. And it's Gillette Super Blue Blades. Now, I don't see why this wouldn't be the right blades for this set. Um, the fella that I got it from, Johnny, he seems to be familiar with uh, what razors go to what, what sets and all that. Um, you know, and he sent me this one and a 1975 U, I forget the quarter, but a U black handle super speed. So, anyways, let me go ahead and make sure it's still back in there. So, anyways, that's the set. I hope that helps you out. 406. So, anyhow, um, and also, too. Uh, Johnny sent me some uh, vintage blades. Uh, I'll check and I'll, I'll check and see if I have any of those. Um, I might have another another um, another bank of the super blue blades in that color in that color bank. If I do, I'll let you know and then I'll get your mailing address and send it out to you. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the shave. Um, my last shave was the day before Thanksgiving, so it was Wednesday. Oh, by the way, I hope 
all of you had an absolutely wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, me and my family, we had an absolutely beautiful Thanksgiving. Went down south to Southern California. Um, spent it with some friends, extended family of hers. Just, just had an absolutely great time. We just got back tonight and I haven't shaved since Wednesday because um, her friend's best friend's husband is um, he, he, he's a professional gambler and he went ahead and called her up and said, hey, um, how about we go ahead and uh, you guys come down to the casino and I'll treat you all to dinner at the buffet. So we went down and it was a pretty cool buffet. They had a pretty good, I mean, they had prime rib steak. They had fried chicken, which was absolutely delicious. Um, they had sushi rolls. They had, uh, basically it looked like somebody took the crabs and slapped them on a bandsaw and sliced them off to where when you got crab, you got one full set of legs and one claw. So we went ahead and had that. Um, awesome dessert bar. I mean, it was just really, really nice. Um, excellent for a buffet, as a matter of fact. So we went ahead and went there. And so we got back. I was like, I need a shave. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to knock this crap off. Off my head and off my face. So anyways, um, the razor. Oh, let me grab a couple of things right here. The razor is, I want something that was going to go ahead and cut through this easier. Um, almost grabbed my Rockwell Success, but I thought, nah, I want to go out with a slant. So, I haven't shaved with this one on camera yet. This is the Apollo Slant, which I got from Johnny Palma. Um, from Johnny. Um, it's an absolutely awesome razor. As far It's got some plating issues. As far as I know, they made these heads out of pop metal. So I'm probably eventually going to send it into, when it reaches a certain point, I'm going to send it into probably, um, what do you call it, Delta, Delta Echo, Echo Delta Razor Works or Delta Echo Razor Works, whichever one it is, and have them do something with it. Maybe, maybe go ahead and get it done in, in you know, um, electric blue with maybe a, a you know, um, black handle. I don't know. Anyhow, the blade in here is a Gillette Silver Blue. It is on its fourth and probably its final shave. I don't go for much past four with any blade unless it's something like a Wilkinson Sword Gillette or, you know, Artist Club Blade, a Gem Blade. Um, hang on, let me get a drink of water. But on double edged blades, pretty much unless it's a really kick ass blade, I don't go I don't go past four. And the brush is going to be my Razor Rock 24 millimeter plus soft synthetic in the barber handle. The soap I got from Dennis, one of my subscribers, and it is Wolfpack, which is an Australian um, soap. It is Wolfpack um, Italian Orchard. Mm. This, I imagine, is kind of their take on Aqua di Parma. Um, I might be wrong, but I think it's their take on Aqua di Parma. Absolutely beautiful scent. Um, really, really like it. So, let's go ahead and let's get this shaver rocking. Quick public service announcement for anybody, and hopefully none of my subscribers do it. Um, none of you guys out there do it. But up here where I live, it's rare to happen. But it seems like down Southern California, it happens a lot. And that is... By the way, I just smeared the sample into this old Castle Forbes... Um, Castle Forbes uh, shaving cream tub. But anyways, rubberneckers. 
down there, it seems like if there's an accident, um, if somebody's pulled over to get a ticket by a cop, everybody freaking slows down. I mean, okay, great. Get a little art to that. I mean, okay, fine. Yeah, um, you know, something happened. You want it, you know, it's human nature to check it out. But up here where I live, in central California, they sat there and oh, an accident. They glance over, oh, that's a shame. They don't break speed. They don't slow down to go, <laughs> what happened? You know, uh, they just, they just go ahead and they go on. Um, from what I understand, this is a thirsty cell. So I'm going to blow the crap out of it. Um, yeah, I think that's good. You know, um, the cop had somebody pulled over, had him out of the car. <laughs> Traffic slows down. Um, there was an accident where semi, fortunately, it wasn't a bad one because when we were, when my girlfriend said, oh, semi in a car, I was like, oh, fortunately, it wasn't bad. It looked like the semi just kind of banged it a little bit and didn't do any major damage. About 15, 15 miles down the road, you know, and of course, cars slowed down for that to look at it. Uh, about 10, 15 miles down the road, cars slowed down again, and I just... I really, really, really hope that it was one or two people max in that car. And I really hope that they were, you know, um, no one was in the back seat because a car got hit from behind and it just crushed the entire back end all the way up to basically the back of the front seats. If anybody was in the back, back, back seat, um, they didn't do too well. So hopefully they're all right. But, you know, um, it's the thing when you're traveling a lot, you know, on these busy, busy, busy roads for the holidays, I mean, it's, things like that are gonna happen. It's just, you know, uh, I keep, I, you know, I just hope that when something like that happens, that the people aren't really badly hurt, because, I mean, and then on the way up, we ended up seeing a, um, on the opposite side going south, all the traffic going south. No, I really like this. I like this scent. It really, really... Mm, really comes out. Um, as you're lathering up, you know, applying it to your face. Um, I know a lot of guys, they bowl lather and all that, and, you know, it works for them, but, I don't know. If I've got cream, I'll bowl lather it. Or sometimes I'll face lather cream. But, I don't know. I kind of prefer face lathering. Rinse this down. Go ahead and get a little water in the ball. Oh. oh yeah. So you know, anybody that was involved in accidents over this Thanksgiving holiday, I hope they pull out, pull through it, you know, and unfortunately I know that's not always the case for some, but, you know.
No. No. First pass with the green. There we go. Taking it right down. Apollo is a three piece razor. Oh yeah, that just wiped through that rope like nothing. Um, by the way, Carl, over on Kiefer, Kiefer, Carl Kiefer, he went ahead and he uh, wants to start doing a thing where when he comes across the YouTuber that Doesn't have, hmm, getting a little bit of a tingle here on my bottom lip. Hmm. Hmm. I hope I'm, I hope the, hmm. If there's something in this soap that my skin don't agree with, uh, this will really be the first soap. Well, I can't show you that because um, my one and only Katie's bubble that I got. Um, when I first got it, kind of did the same thing. But wasn't real bad, so I went ahead and, you know, after a couple of uses, my face got used to it, and I was done. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it went through that nice. But anyways, go ahead and lather up here and finish my little thing about what I was saying about Carl. Anyways, to kind of you know support other YouTubers. It doesn't have a lot of subscribers. He uh, wants to start when he comes across one that doesn't have a lot of, a lot of subscribers. To so sit there and mention them, you know, kind of give them a shout out, so to speak. Um, he, uh, mentioned 406 and that's how I learned about his channel and I went over there and checked it out and you know like what I saw I think I'm his 15th subscriber so you know I mean, well, I've now got 39, so with with 406 and Frank, so, you know, 406 has, 
you know, less subscribers than I do. So, you know, but I sat there and I was like, yeah, you know, it's a cool idea. So, the guy I'm going to mention is Frank Stromberg. Um, this razor is real nice across the grain as well as with the grain. Really, really efficient shaver. Um, I definitely Definitely can say I really rely so on my second slant. Um, so I'm not sure. Which feels more aggressive? This one or the Ridge Rock 37, German 37 slant. I'm gonna definitely have to do a comparison video with those two. Kind of old school meets new school. Uh, yeah, so if You have not. Had a chance to check out Frank Stromberg. Um, the videos I saw looks like I could be wrong. He could use other than Chevette's, but I saw like, I think three videos. His most recent was where he was using a Chevette. Um, anyways, yeah, that was a nice second pass. Oh, I feel so nice to get all that growth off. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go for a third. Um, and there was one thing I was thinking about doing um, because, you know, social media is kind of gives people communities, whether you're on Facebook, I mean, us wet shavers, um, our community, there's lots of Facebook groups, um, there's Shave the Man, Razor and Brush, um, vintage Gillette, Vintage Gillette by Selling Trade, Gym Fan Club, or Gym Fan Club, Chevette World, I mean, there's just so many. And, uh, Classic Shave, <laughs> you know, some of the YouTubers have their own groups. Like Rich Hansen, Steve the Daily Shaver. So, you know, so kind of, I kind of look at it as kind of like a community. I mean, at, at neighborhoods, you know. And every, every type of YouTube or every type of Facebook um, community, they have, um, can go against the green, start here on my neck. They have, you know, so many different pages or channels. Um, I kind of look at them as like little neighborhoods, social media neighborhoods. So, now, I'm pushing 50. I'm 48 years old. Um, Grew up in a small town, up in the mountains. Um, 
not quite as small as it used to be, but still relatively small. So, um, up on the cheeks. Oh, I forgot to go at an angle on the neck. Oh well. I'll do that here in a minute. So, we had small stores. And the one thing that these little stores had was bulletin boards. So, this is what I'm thinking. I, I want I want your guys' input because this channel is just not for me. It's for you, my subscribers. Um, if y'all would be interested in maybe like once a month. Or twice a month, I do where I go ahead and um, I do a video where I don't shave, I don't show new stuff that's coming to the den. No reviews, nothing. But what I do do is I go ahead and I just do a video where I say, hey, subscriber so-and-so is looking for this particular item. I mean, they have the buy song trade pages. But I was kind of thinking about maybe. First, just having it in search of type thing. Say, hey, this 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 subscriber is looking for this item. This subscriber is looking for them. And you know, I figured one thing I don't want to do is pretty much be the middleman. That was nice. That was not oh god, that's smooth. But that was Really great shave. Feels good. Um, but I don't want to be the middleman. I don't want to sit there and say, Hey, this guy's looking for this. And then, you know, 5, 10, 20 of you email me and say, Yeah, I got it. So I got to come up with a way, you know, maybe just go ahead. And, and if anybody says, I'm looking for this. They got to go ahead, email it to me. And then I go ahead and I post, you know, I say the email address is of this. Anyways, let me rinse off and then I'll, you know, do the album and I'll go on and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Anyhow, but yeah, you know, um, just at first do it like this, the Omega Alum Stick, Alum Stick. Um, oh yeah. But, uh, you know, just at first do just what people's looking for. Except they were very not that train. You know, um, like once a month, I don't know, maybe, um, maybe you can only go ahead and Say you're looking for something every
every other month. Um, or I don't know. I'm uh, not quite sure how uh, I'd want to do it, but I'd like to do that. That way, so it'll kind of make, you know, this channel just, you know, kind of just a perk for you guys. You know, because who knows, you might go ahead like, I mean, if you take a look at the video, what's in the box? You know, I got all those beautiful razors from uh, Johnny and, you know, um, you know, I got a beautiful 59... Second quarter E2, you know, E2, 1959 second quarter Fat Boy from Johnny. Um, you know, so, you know, I'm sure there's, you know, other other guys, you know, who watch this, this um, channel that go ahead, you know, other subscribers that, you know, some of you guys where you just go ahead and you look and go, yeah, I really need to get you know, need to get rid of some of those items in the den, you know, I, I need to move them. So this would kind of just, you know, somebody might say, hey, I'm looking, you know, say, I'm looking for a slim adjustable. And one of you guys go, I've got like four of them damn things. And then you can contact them and say, hey, I got a slim adjustable. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you have any ideals to go ahead and help this thing run smooth, if you guys want me to do it, because I'm down for it, um, no problem. Uh, if it'll help you guys, go ahead and maybe acquire something you're looking for. Um, you know, uh, I know 406, he's, he's on the hunt for a uh, fat boy. Um, so, you know, um, who knows? Maybe maybe one of you guys might be in search of something and, and one of the other guys can just say, hey, dude, let me help you out. So anyways, so let me know what you think. Give me some ideals that you guys would like to see for how this, um, if I do do a video once a month about that, how you'd all like to see it run. Um, and maybe, you know, some, some rules or whatever to this. Um, that way so it doesn't descend into utter chaos. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut away here, rinse my face, do my noggin, and I'll be back for the post. Hey folks, that was another absolutely great shave. Um, that Apollo slant, it knocks it down. I'll tell you that, it knocks it down. Um, my face, BPS. Um, my noggin, nice and smooth, other than a couple of little spots. Even those aren't hardly, there's a little spot right there, I'll get it. Um, and a few, and a little spot there I missed, but I'll get that in a few. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with that shave. Um, the razor did great. The blade, uh, no problem going through that much growth. Um, but like I said, you know, fourth. And final shave, I will be banking it because, you know, I'm just not comfortable with taking a silver blue out past four shaves because I don't like the blade give, pardon me, giving out part way through a shave. So, um, the soap, great soap. I've never tried Wolfpack soaps and that was an excellent, that is an excellent soap. Um, nice thick, rich, creamy lather, um, the scent strength, um, close to medium probably, maybe a little more, I don't know, I'm not real great at judging scent strengths um, at this time, uh, with the number of soaps that I now have, um, thanks to a certain subscriber, you know who you are, I will probably go ahead and get better at that, but um, yeah, the scent strength, good. Uh, the scent on it was just absolutely wonderful. I love that scent. Um, whipped up a thick, rich, creamy lather. Um, plenty of slickness. I ain't got no nicks, weepers, creepers, no cuts. Um, so yeah, uh, great soap. Um, the brush, you know, it's a Raised Rock Synthetic. What, what can I say, you know? Uh, but anyways, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the post after having such an awesome shave. Witch Hay Dollar General Witch Hazel. Um, it's 
soon as that runs out, out will be coming the Dickens Witch Hazel. You guys saw me do the alum, so... Anybody who might be on a diet, I hope you didn't blow it too bad. Um, so we're gonna go with um, maybe a for sensitive skin after shave, pro shave bomb. I love the scent of this Nivea. I really want to try the Taconic um, Excalibur. I saw Kevy Shaves use it in a video, the soap, and he said it kind of smelled like Nivea on steroids. So, yeah, I really like the scent of the Nivea post shape balm. So, you know, um, I definitely, definitely want to try that. A little bit from my face. Yeah, for any of you that seen my last video, um, uh, speaking of a certain item that I need to use on a certain razor I have, when I had ordered it, Gillette Psychotech Reproduction Key, it's scheduled to arrive Tuesday, so yeah, um, look forward to that video. I look very forward to making it. I've always wanted to shave with a Psychotech. Why? I don't know. Oops. I just have. And I ended up picking up my Psychotech for five bucks um, out in the wild. And uh, it still has a blade in it. From what my girlfriend could see looking under the blade. She couldn't see no rust. Um, yeah, what we can see, what we can see of the razor other than what soap's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Um, so hopefully the inside of the head is in just as good a shape. Hopefully the blade that's in there is a good old stainless steel to where it really didn't rust. Um, that much so you know let's keep our fingers crossed anyways and the aftershave is going to be node club the node club a nod club however you want to pronounce it beautiful scent on this panade club in I look forward to getting some more of them. Nice. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. So anyways, let's take a quick look at what we use, shall we? The razor was the Apollo three-piece vintage Apollo three-piece slant bar razor. The blade in there was a Gillette Silver Blue on blue Gillette Silver Blue on its fourth and final shave. 
Um, no complaints about the razor. The brush worked beautifully. And it was the Razor Rock 24mm plus soft barber handle brush. The soap was um, Wolfpack Italian Orchard, which is a soap out of Australia. I've heard many great things about. Um, I want to find who what the what the American vendors of that soap is and get some more. Um, the soap it did. It's, it's everything you want in a soap. Let's just put it that way. It's everything you want in a soap. Um, whether it's tallow or vegetable, or whether it's tallow or vegan, I don't know. I don't care. It works great. So I definitely want to check into getting some more of their soaps. Who knows? Maybe Santa Claus might bring me some. <laughs> um, the post shave was warm water followed by cold. Um, Dollar General Witch Hazel. Nivea for Sensitive Skin Post Shape Balm. Topped it off with Panode Clemen or Panade Clemen. Anyways, folks, oh, and of course, Omega um, Alum Stick or Alum Stick. Anyways, folks, um, that's the shave. Thank you for joining me. Go ahead, give me your thoughts on the the um, thing I talked about for you guys to go ahead and say I'm looking for this certain item. Go ahead, give me your thoughts. Um, your input is well needed. If you ever have any, um, if you ever want to get in touch with me through email, my email address is justlance59 at gmail.com. That's all lowercase, no spaces. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. Um, likes, comments are always appreciated. I will always try and get back to everybody that comments. Um, no promises, but so far I don't think I've let anybody down on that on that part. Um, once again, welcome to 406 Shaver and Frank. I'm sorry, I totally spaced your last name. Um, anyways, so welcome Frank. Um, I'll put his, uh, you know, I'll put his name in the, um, the comments, or the, the um, description. So you can go ahead and you can look for him on YouTube if you're interested. Go ahead, check him out. Um, uh, you know, uh, if you're into Chevette shaving, I know he definitely does that. Um, you know, just check him out, see what he's got. Anyways, so once again, thanks everybody for joining me. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.